Hello guys and welcome to a new series called Quantum Conundrum and I am posting this on Saturday and Sunday but this is being recorded before because why not and also I'm going to be posting this more during the summer so stay tuned for that but let's get right into this game now shall we once upon a time that's how these things usually start yes a sister took pity on her brilliant prolific and incredible brother she had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely or at least that's what she claims and so on a perfectly fine productive friday afternoon the sister picked up her son from the elwood academy for boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my uh, the, the brother's doorstep now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Sorry about that, my mom came into my room. Into the foyer, oh god. I will join you as soon as I can. As I was trying to say, my mom uh, came into my room and she's like, Hey, why do you not have the window open? Well, first off, it's because you guys will probably hear a bunch of bo dogs barking and I don't want to hear that either. And yeah, so about that. But well, let me just uh pick this thing up. Oh god, it, it's really bright on here. Hold on, let me. So I thought brightness would be a good thing because I could barely see this. Um, let's just put this down by a lot. Okay, it looks really good now. Okay, where was I supposed to put this? Hold on, I need to change the sensitivity to it. There we go. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, you confounded machine. Ugh. What was that? Oh, good. That, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. No, where on earth? Wait, and I grab this box. Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, uh... no, 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 no! Ah! I lost my box. Okay, so here's where it changes the dimensions, which is cool. Yeah, so Wait, this game's pretty what just cool. happened. I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and... Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There, ha, ah, much better. Now, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. 
Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Oh god, that just lagged out my game. Probably shouldn't do that. Let's uh, slag it out some more. Why not? Okay, let's go into here. Yeah, I'm getting a full 60 and then it will just go down if I just move something. But you guys if you head over to my 60. office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Okay, I'll head over to your office. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Throw it? Okay, I'll well, that wasn't it. as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Zero percent completion. Okay, let's go. Just, uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> if you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Kinda don't wanna talk through this. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Can I have this? Or no? What about this reason? Probably can't have that either. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to talk through this because you guys might miss something. The glove something. controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. So I did get my first achievement on this game, which was grabbing the glove, so I guess that's easy achievement. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Yeah, I gotta be patient. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except that it's far more advanced. This game would actually be really good well, if Well, because your glove person. is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You just ever so slightly touch the spacebar, it'll just jump. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Okay. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is fluffy dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Okay, that was easy. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes. I call him Desmond. Okay, Desmond. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. What? What's that? Is that this? Um, oh, right there. Ah, I see. 
That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Huh. There we go, that's actually really cool. So, the reason why I bought this game is because I saw C Nanners play this in one of his old videos, and I really wanted this game, but, um, never got to it. So, I bought it, and I never played it, and now I'm playing it, so here we go. As I mentioned, go. dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. I'm glad I can't take damage. That would take a lot from falling. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Let's put this right here, right? Yeah, okay. Got this. Move this. Yep. Can I break that? No, I can't. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, put on the scale. Over here. Okay, I can still move stuff. That's good, I guess. I'll just move this stuff over. Well, these are my own particular safe. hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra Did you guys just see a cat or a dog? Something? I keep trying to use E. Where does this go? Do I have to throw this? <laughs> Let's try that again. I got it, and then it fell back down. Let's try this again. What? <laughs> Try stacking stuff up, see if we can get anything from that. Ah, okay, so that goes destroy the safe. Let's uh this stuff over. Okay. I was just trying to see if that actually worked, but it didn't. Okay. Move. Let's keep this there. Move the chair down. Move this chair down. Did that safe disappear? Wait, where did that safe go? Oh, got my fluffy vision. Okay, let's just move this stuff closer. Um, okay, so there's no crouch in this game, so whenever you press control, it doesn't control. These are my own particular it hybrid beams of carbon dioxide jumps. and neodymium dope, yttrium aluminum and garnet see, lasers, see that? using an alternating ray configuration. Let's, let's try this again. Kick. Let's try uh, putting these right here. do that. I should have actually read that. Okay. That would have been way easier. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. Um, what about in here? What's in here? Oh, I have to do it anyways. Okay, let's grab the safe. Okay, I have to keep that. How do I 
get up. 